So when I told you, oh, mom, I'm hiring a car, let's go get a car, you're like, what are you doing? I'm like, mom, it's a car, so it's a road. But they drive on the opposite side yeah, of the road, Althea. It's okay. And then you see how, why? But why did we or know? did we not what? manage? And for two weeks, I drove us accident free. But yes or no? Say yes or no. Say yes or no. Say yes or no. Yes. Thank you. But that's not it. Hey everybody, my name is Angie Moranga. You're watching Just Angie. It's Lifestyle Thursday. It's the 24th of December, so it's Christmas Eve. We're all getting excited about tomorrow, about Christmas Day and Boxing Day, and also the year coming to an end. And I've been having an amazing conversation with my daughter, Althea. Um, so, Althea Karibu again. Thank you. You know your name means healing, by the way. Yeah. And I remember a flower how, that brings healing. A flower that brings healing. When I found your name, because it's your you've just celebrated your twenty sixth birthday, mm -hmm. and so it brings back names, um, it brings back memories. Um, my cousin um, had given me a book with ten thousand baby names when mm -hmm. we were trying to come up with a name for you. And you know, actually, have we ever told you the, the other contenders that we had? Do you remember yeah. them? There Jasmine was Jasmine and Kezia. and Kezia. So it was Jasmine or Kezia, and then now Althea. So first of all, Kezia, you said the Kuyos are going to dissect that name until we don't even know what to do with it. <laughs> you didn't feel like a Jasmine. Yeah. We were not sure about Jasmine, so we set, settled on Althea. Okay. So I think it's such a beautiful name, a flower that brings healing. And you do carry a healing essence because I think in my own life and in the journeys that I've been through, there's been a lot of healing mm -hmm. that has taken place both for me and for yourself. Mm -hmm. um, but 26, I've seen you become, um, we don't have as much friction. Mm -hmm. I, I think 26 people grow up a bit. You're like, hmm, the realities of life. You know, when you're when people are younger, and sometimes when, when I used to watch you, I was like, hey, do you know how life is coming? Life is coming at you in another angle like that's not the way you can you should you should be handling this but you watch you let them people make the mistakes you let them fall wake up come down but i think some of the uh, some of the issues that we've had have really made me a better person mm -hmm. when i look back you know i think okay so maybe this is how i come off to people maybe this is how i should not say this uh, maybe this is how I, this is the effect that i have so lots of things like that and just allowing you to grow up which is very hard because mm. i keep telling you you came from here mm. yeah here i have a sky i have a mark that's always hard yeah and sometimes i wish that life had prepared us somewhere somebody had said that your kids will grow up and they will leave you and you will have to release them to go and live their lives but when i look back i also did the same isn't it i yes, left my parents it. And we, but it's like nothing ever prepares you. I don't know how much preparation because you need it. So let's ask, what mm -hmm. is the, was the issues? Like what would you feel um, the, would it be like you feel like you don't have control or you're yes. losing control? Or it's what losing it? control, yeah. independence, making your own decisions. Like I said, you know, ask us, you didn't question our parents. So I'd had that a few years where you guys question, you ask, you, 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 you ask um, why, why, you know, why do I need to do this? Um, I think also uh, parenting in two different homes is also, it has its challenges. Because I think if we were in one home, then maybe we'd have synergies. But maybe we don't even have disagreements still because I find you and your dad are very similar and mm. I have a very different character. That's why I wish I'd had another child or personality mm. who was like me. So mm. I'm waiting for your grandchild. Yeah. I'm waiting for the grandchild that Who's is gonna going to be, be like, like me. You? So we're going to have a great time, me yeah. and this grandchild. Because, yeah, I, feel, I always feel like it's two to one. Like this, you two, and you really understand and get each other. And me, that's not the way I would have thought, but yeah. I, I've also understood its personality as well. But I wanted to ask a question. So, when mm. you say the issue of control and independence, because mm. you said mm. independence in mm. particular, mm. so isn't it kind of um, contrasting? Because as parents, you want to prepare your child mm. to be the most independent they can be. You know, mm. that's why you've taken us to, you've taken me to university, mm. even abroad. You've allowed me to do a master's. You've let me get a career now. That is trying to make your child independent. Mm. But then that same independence you want them to have, still you feel like it. Like explain that for because maybe other parents. Because as a, as a parent, and let me talk as a mother, you're a natural. Mm. So your instinct is to protect. If I look at lions, yeah, they say let's say you find any animal actually yeah. in the wild with children, it's more dangerous than an animal that doesn't have kids mm. because they just go Protect it becomes ferocious mode they don't even try to figure out what's happening they will just attack you because they're trying to protect mm. their children so mm. that protective mechanism Instinct, yeah. is what needs and i think i've done very well yeah i've seen a lot of who are not doing well me i've done very well mm. but amongst my tears my crying my father what is going on but it's important because it's not just easy to yeah. break off yeah that nurturing connection yeah it's, it's not, uh, and now 
and it looks like I'm trying to control you and you, you're off. You yeah. know, you've got wings to fly. And you're and then afraid you always say, of what might happen. Yes, and then you always say... But I'm not aware it. of because I'm not seeing it from and a lens of experience. you haven't been there. Yeah. You haven't had the experience, but yeah. I've had the experience, yeah. yeah? But then you always say that I'm very negative. Yeah. Yeah, that not I negative, quickly jump I feel to like negativity. You're fearful. That's the thing. You are, you mm -hmm. are, and that's how we're different. One of the things we're different. Mm -hmm. You approach things from an element of fear. Fear. Like, remember when I was driving in LA? I mm -hmm. had never dri driven. Oh, I hope the DMV don't, even don't find me. me. Let me tell you. But Althea, actually, I, I so got scared. an international license and no, I was able did. to drive legally, mm -hmm. but I had never driven on the roads before. And you're completely And crazy. I drove. And so when I told you, oh, mom, I'm hiring a car, let's go get a car, you're like, what are you doing? I'm like, mom, it's a car, it's a road. But they drive on the opposite side of the road. Okay. And then you see how why but why did we or know? did we not what? manage? And for two weeks I drove us accident free. But yes or no? Say yes or no. Say yes or no. Yes. yes. Thank you. But that's not it. You see now as a mother, the mother comes in with what are the possibilities that can go wrong? Yeah. First of all, on those LA streets, did you see how fast those people are driving? Yeah. One small mistake and we are done. All of us are done. But that's where you look Number at it one. from. And yes. you are looking at it from but it's a car, look at it. it's a road. I can do this. It's First of all, you're driving on the right, on the wrong side of the road. I have driven for 30 years by the grace of God, accident free. I've yeah. never had an accident. But I, how do I switch my brain to now do the opposite? I usually turn left, I'm supposed to turn, I don't know right. I thought you were completely crazy. But I, I commend you. When we got where we got there, yeah. I was fine. <laughs> the day we returned the car, I was like, <laughs> it is done. And then I didn't want, you know, and then also I think I've watched many movies, but I also I think, like even the American population, you can go to jail for something so silly like mm -hmm. that, and I wouldn't want that out there. No, but I had so gotten every my, time, my car legally. But if you had an accident, yeah. or something happened, and you have to start explaining it, no. Anyway, that's, yeah, so that, that's one of the differences of, that we have personality You're a risk wise. taker. I'm a risk taker. Mm. And because you, not that you're not a risk taker, but you're more careful. Very careful. So you're like, this person, like, does, like they're just going to go out and So maybe mm. that's also one of the things that we used to clash about. Because I'm just like, why is my mom approaching things from a, from a lens of fear? What's going to happen? I mean, I'm like, go do it. If you, if you fail, you learn from it, you know? If something mm. happens, you learn from that mistake. Mm. But I think also I always tell you, like, if you had more children, you wouldn't be so controlling mm. because they'd be, you can't, like for me, I'm the one, all eyes on me, so you can just focus on me and control. But if you had four kids, you will just give yourself a heart attack, you know, <laughs> trying to control everyone and, you know, fo follow everyone's life. So that's, even as I'm growing older, that's a perspective I've learned to see mm. and not fault you for that, but mm. understand that mm. um, this is, this is her only child that mm. she, so all the focus, and all the noise and, and all the energy is just and all the nice things as well yeah and all the nice and all the nice things yeah they all come to you i'm really glad the way your dad pointed out the other day because mm. we we because that then has afforded you opportunities yeah if we if our resources were being divided between four or five children then you probably wouldn't have enjoyed many the of the things that, that I have, you've, yeah. you've been able to have but being one child then we are able to pour out and to focus and to give you by the grace of god what you need mm -hmm. and uh, make sure that you you you, you do well and, and even the older more. that I've gotten, I feel like I relate, I can relate to where, why you've been the way you've been. Mm -hmm. Because as I'm getting older, by God's grace, mm -hmm. I'll have my own children and my mm -hmm. own family and my perspective starts to change because I'm thinking like, yeah, I understand why where, where mom was like this. Mm -hmm. Like it's someone you've seen from mm -hmm. before even they were in your, bo you were mm -hmm. connecting with me when I was in your stomach. Like mm -hmm. it's someone you feel like you have, you've actually put here. So you only want the best for them. Yeah. Um, you might be scared of, of, of anything negative that could come and harm them, and that's mm. why you're just trying to protect them mm. from that. So the older I've gotten, the more I do understand and empathize and sympathize with your the way you raised me and um, mm. your perspectives on things. Mm. So and you always even say like, when I have my own children, is when I'll really be like, wow, you'll be and my then, best friend. Because I'll be like, oh, you'll, you'll, under, be you'll be like, friend. yeah, I used to do this. You see now, mm. your kids are doing this. And nah, then nah, nah, you know, nah. your kids and me and the that's why also being a grandparent. I can't wait to be a grandparent. Yeah. How we're going to have fun and be and and do all the things that I want to do. You can't stop the grandparent. Now True. I'm even. I'm now I'm a general now. These are <laughs> my grandchildren. <laughs> I'm going to do what I want to do with them, and then the freedom that. When I'm done with them and I'm tired, and I just them, tell yeah. you, come pick your kids, me and relax. You know, yeah. there's, there's a way that there's no responsibility, but the children are yours. But I want you to look into that camera out there mm -hmm. and just speak to somebody because many mothers and daughters have issues. Yeah. yeah? yeah. And it always seems to be the mother and the daughter. So Althea, please look into this camera and just encourage a mother and also a daughter on the mother-daughter 
dynamics. Dynamics. Yeah. Mm. Um, I would say for a daughter who is having just maybe just like trouble or just arguments with your mom, I would say just try and put yourself in her shoes. It might be hard because the life experiences you're going through are not similar to what uh, she she's experiencing at the moment. But always know. I think one thing I would tell them is that um, your mother only wants the best for you. She birthed you. She knew you even before you came into this world, you know, she could only want the best for you. She only wants to protect you from harm. So whatever she's doing, whatever she's saying that may be irritating you is all coming from a place of love. So just try and empathize with her and try and uh, put yourself in her shoes. And for a mother, I would also just say what I would always tell you. Like also, I feel like you are, uh, maybe need to trust your child mm. that you've raised them in the right way um, that you've given them the right tools to be able to navigate this life because even you as a mother you were once young you were once naive and in your situations and literally you learned through experiencing is the best experience is the best teacher you know you experienced you failed and you you learned from that lesson so even as a mother just try and um, put yourself as well into your daughter's shoes and be like you know what I've done my best I have taught her what I need to I've done my part as a mother now let life sort of teacher but of course in a way that she's still protected cushioned. and she's still cushioned mm. but just sometimes you just have to have have to have that um mm. outlook but just mm. know it, it's always going to turn around it can just be a season a year or two and then after that you'll always come together because you love one another and mm. at the end of the day what is holding you both together is love and that mother and daughter bond you can't share with anyone else i always mm. used to tell you i can go anywhere but like i'll only have one mother mm. and uh, you'll only have one daughter so that's my advice i hope it so well said and also pray let me tell you oh, women pray. pray 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 decree into the heavens that's another thing i like to do and i always say number one she's not going to meet anyone that is going to harm her it's not going to happen you know so pray for their protection their peace their grace their wisdom and their eyes to be opened if it's understanding and that they're always making the right choices and they're always surrounded by the right people prayer works there's nothing as powerful as prayer and that's important god bless you see you next thursday for the last and final part of this series bye bye mm -hmm.